Hello guys, today's video is going to be about how we prepare for our dogs to give birth. This is Sadie, and she might not look that happy to be here right now because she wants to be outside playing ball. But, she's just going to be here to kind of walk us through it a little bit. So this, right here, yeah, this is a little kid pool for playing outside in the water stuff. But we like using it because it's the perfect size for the mama dog and their little puppies. And this is a rewashable dog pad. So if they poop or pee on it, you can easily rewash it and use it over and over and over. It's easy to dry and it's non-slip, which is really good. So it doesn't get too crinkled up and the puppies could get stuck in it or stuff. So, and she will be having her puppies pretty soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned and stick around for that. And this is a wash cloth so when they're done having puppies we will usually wipe them down because there will be afterbirth and stuff make sure they're clean not dirty and make sure the puppies are okay so that's what we have there are you gonna leave you stay oh she's leaving but this is a towel so when we're done well when she's giving birth we can usually use this sometimes if the puppies need some help like if she's if she gives birth to puppies really fast and you, she needs some help to kind of dry them off or stuff like you say she gave birth to two puppies really fast you can only take care of one take care of one we will take the other one keep it right by her so we won't take it away but we'll kind of dry it off open up the sack make sure it's breathing and doing well but this is just for that and then this is kind of their first part. They'll stay down here and still, until they start getting active. She's looking at the ball right now behind the camera. Hopefully she doesn't knock the camera over. But So that's what we really, really do. And she will be in my room for now. It's minimal light because the puppies, they're not supposed to see light for until their eyes can open because it can be bad for them. And it can be scary. You had this one puppy to where it was Sugar's Litter where when the puppy, it saw too much light and there was a drastic change in the kind of heat because my brother was running his fan and stuff so the puppy started screaming and crying oh yeah she wants the ball <laughs> but it started screaming and crying so we had to change it make sure there was minimal to no light and to where the fan was not running so it was keeping them warm and our mom labs they this is also sadie's first litter so we'll see how good of a mom she is she's also loves playing ball so maybe since she'll be having puppies and trying to be a mama she won't play ball so much but our other dogs like sugar she's been a really good mama she's done a lot of the work and we haven't had to help her on the puppies like open up the sacks and help them but we don't know about honey and sadie bear but we'll be able to see pretty soon because she'll have her puppies probably within the one with one within one or two weeks and honey will probably have them in three or four weeks but she looks insanely big Sadie Bear does because she's a little dog, not too little, but she just kind of has a small build. So it looks like she's gigantic and she just absolutely ate a watermelon, but she's just a pregnant dog. So I hope you guys like the video and make sure to subscribe and share with your friends. Bye!